you know some of the fastest trains in Japan are powered by Linux or that cyber dogs are out and they are powered by Ubuntu or that the US Department of Defense is the single biggest customer of Red Hat Linux. Welcome to the top 10 projects completely powered by Linux starting from crazy to insane to straight up godly. For starters we have supercomputers. These beasts solve calculations exceeding a quintillion. The world's fastest supercomputer, Frontier, can solve calculations five times the speed of traditional supercomputers, all powered by Linux. They help develop technologies for energy and medicine, make discoveries, help in simulation, research and so many more. Talking about research, the space station switched from Windows XP to Linux back in 2013. Let me share an incident. In 2008, a Russian cosmonaut brought a laptop aboard infected by a worm, which quickly spread to other laptops on board. Switching to Linux will essentially immunize the ISS against future infections. Talking about malware, what's this video to know more about the rise of Linux malwares? NASA and SpaceX ground stations use Linux. DNA sequencing lab technicians use Linux. Really, for applications that require absolute stability, which most scientific experiments are, Linux is the obvious choice. The fact that the entire operating system is open source and can be easily customized for each experiment is a very big draw too. Jim Zemlin, the executive director of Linux Foundation, once said, Linux runs air traffic control, it runs your bank, and it runs nuclear submarines. Your life, money, and death is in Linux's hand. So we can keep you alive, clean you out, or kill you. It's incredible how important it is. And yes, the US Navy nuclear submarine fleet runs on Linux, including their sonar system. I'm talking about numbers more than 70 submarines with 53 fast attack submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines, which currently carry more than 54% of the US nuclear deterrent arsenal and four guided missile submarines. You have heard about Sophia, right? The friendly AI robot from Hanson Robotics? Well, their AI SDK is for Linux OS as listed on their website. Talking about robots, have you heard of Cyber Dogs? Well, it is a dog but a robotic one. Guess what? The one that is created by Xiaomi is now powered by Ubuntu. The digital dogo can mimic many of the acts done by a real dog like following, recognizing and more. It can even perform some cool complex movements like backflips to underscore. Tesla uses a customized version of Ubuntu Linux in their Model S. They use Qt for the graphical layer. Well, many speculate on that, but be sure Linux is somewhere inside handling on the big stuff. I'm talking about cars that are capable of auto steer, auto brakes, auto lane change, auto park and more. Much of it is managed by Linux. The famous Japanese bullet trains also rely on Linux systems. The bullet trains make use of an automatic train control ATC system to get rid of the requirement of trackside signs. In addition, it utilized the automatic train protection system ATP which is a central traffic control that networks and automates all tasks associated with train activities, tracks, stations and schedules. Most of it is handled by Linux. Every time a train leaves and arrives at a Japanese station, Linux is behind it. Now things get more interesting from here. The largest particle physics laboratory in the world trusts Linux to control its enormous particle accelerator. The Hadron Collider uses Linux. The laboratory employed the use of Scientific Linux SL, the Linux operating system produced by the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory and the European Organization for Nuclear Research CERN. Scientific Linux like any other Linux distro is free and open source. Scientists also use Ubuntu to interpret data from the Hubble Space Telescope. Now, it is in sleep mode or whatever that is currently going on with Hubble. But in a documentary about Hubble Space Telescope released on Nova on Reddit, users pointed out that one of the scientists was using Linux to manage the data provided by the telescope. Flying further out, Linux is now on Mars. Thanks to NASA's Perseverance rover, the software framework that they are using is one that was developed by JPL for CubeSat and Instruments. They open sourced it a few years ago, it is called F Prime. The fact that open source means that if you want to fly with Linux here on Earth using the same software JPL does, it is possible. It's a kind of an open source victory because they are flying an open source operating system on an open source flight software framework and flying commercial parts that you can buy off the shelf if you want to do this yourself someday. So that was a crazy ride for us. 
and really till date i didn't know this much about linux that it is used in so many parts of uh, our daily life or in several huge research works and it's really incredible to know the importance of linux okay thank you so much for watching this video do like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one